Before driving off in your car this morning, you might want to check it for a hidden hazard. Most of us don't think about the age of our tires, but we should because they become more dangerous the older they get. Do you know how old your tires are? I just got them last year. Rachel Palmer buys new tires for her car pretty often, but that trend only started after a scary experience. I was in the interstate one time many, many moons ago, and um, we had a blowout. Thought I was going to lose control of the vehicle, and it was due to wire showing in the car, uh, in the tires. Tire aging likely caused her crash. In fact, the National Traffic Highway Safety Administration estimates thousands of people get hurt every year in wrecks where tire aging was a factor. It's made out of rubber. Rubber breaks down over time. Jeff Moore, owner of Gray tire, tire and Automotive, says it's normal for tires to weaken and fall apart as they get older. See the dry rot and how it's worn. Things like sunlight, the heat or cold, and wear and tear cause them to break down, whether they're on a car or a store shelf. But it should be an expiration date, just like it is on anything else. Numerous studies suggest people should get new tires every six years, but right now they don't have any official expiration date. While some tire manufacturers have taken steps to warn consumers by placing labels in the owner's manual of newer model cars, a lot of people still just aren't aware of the dangers of older tires or even how to tell how old they are. You can check the age of your tire if you can crack this DOT code. It's a little complicated, so stay with me. You want to focus on the last four digits. The first two tell you the week the tire was made. The last two digits tell you the last two digits the year the tire was made. So 3612 means this tire was made in the 36th year of 2012 or mid-September 2012. Good to know. Even for a meticulous car owner, like Rachel, learning that was a surprise. All right, so did you know that? I did not know that, and I keep pretty close tabs on my tires, mm -hmm. so a really quick way to get some instant information on yes. your tire. So I went out and I checked the tires on my personal car after this. Yeah, I need three new tires, and I saw the um, where the traction was, uh, you know, going down, and I also saw some of that dry rot that Jeff Moore was telling me about. So it's really it's such an eye opener, in my opinion. Even for a meticulous car owner, you may not have known about that DLT code. And the tires, something that are so important to mm -hmm. the car. And uh, we see cars on the side of the road all the time, certainly when we travel in the spring and summertime, and it just takes one quick second. So check those tires. Great, great information. I know a lot of folks uh, heading out on spring break, too. Going to oh, be yeah. checking those tires oh, yeah. before they hit the road. Definitely. And, of course, of course, experts say it's very important to get your tires rotated every 5,000 miles to check for issues and to balance out the wear and tear on those tires. And if even if your tires look okay on the outside, that doesn't mean anything because there could be problems on the inside. Always check before yep. you roll out. Yep. Thanks, Sydney. Great.